वेलकम टू ईजी एफ अकेडमी आई एम डॉक्टर गीतांजलि टूडे टॉपिक इज वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू विच वॉज अमेंडेड इन नाइनटीन एटी टू वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू प्रोवाइड्स फॉर स्टेट वाइल्ड लाइफ एडवाइजरी बोर्ड्स इट रेगुलेट्स हंटिंग ऑफ वाइल्ड एनिमल्स बर्ड्स वट एवर स्पीशीज आर प्रेजेंट इट रेगुलेट्स वेदर दे कैन बी हंटेड और नॉट हंटेड एवरीथिंग इज रेगुलेटेड बाई इट अंडर वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट नेशनल पार्क है also wildlife sanctuaries are established under it it regulates trade of animals and animal products penalty has also been decided under this act if anyone violates the act central zoo authority established in 1992 is also under wildlife protection act which regulates all the zoos in india under wildlife protection act the national board for wildlife is established which is a statutory organization it advises the central government and discusses any issue related to the conservation of any species with the central government and also national board for wildlife is the apex body which reviews and approves all the matters related to wildlife like wildlife projects national parks and wildlife sanctuaries their establishment and alteration in their boundaries all these things are looked after by national board of wildlife its main function is promotion of conservation it means conserving all our wild species so it is very important organization that's why it is chaired by prime minister wpa which is wildlife protection act under this ntca has also been established ntca is national tiger conservation authority it is a statutory body under ministry of environment forest and climate change the function of tiger conservation authority is that it works on a single species that is tiger its entire work is conservation of tiger project tiger which was launched in 1973 is regulated by ntca in wildlife protection act there are six schedules and different animals have been kept in those six schedules schedule number 1 all the endangered species whose population is declining are placed under it whatever species are kept under schedule 1 their hunting is prohibited throughout india in all the states for example tiger has been placed in schedule 1 so tiger cannot be hunted in any of the states and if it happens then very harsh penalty is given in this case any species which is kept under schedule 1 can be hunted only in two cases if that species has become a threat for human like if a tiger becomes man eater then it can be killed in second case if the species has got a disease which is beyond recovery then what will happen the disease can be spread to another tiger and then to third one in this case the tiger can be killed animals included in schedule 1 cannot be traded some of the important animals placed in schedule 1 are black buck bengal tiger clouded leopard snow leopard swamp deer himalayan bear cheetah kashmir stag fishing cat lion tailed mac bro antlered deer chinkara also called indian gazelle capped langur golden langur hillock gibbon blue whale common dolphin hornbill indian gazelle musk deer rhinoceros so all these are very important species as well as endangered their population is very less that's why they cannot be killed if someone kills them then very strict penalty is imposed even imprisonment can also be done then schedule number 2 animals placed in schedule 2 also gets very high level of protection they also cannot be traded we cannot hunt them they can be hunted only in two cases if it has become a threat to human life or it has got a disease which cannot be recovered example of schedule 2 animals are assamese mac it is a monkey pig tailed mac stump tailed mac bengal hanuman langur himalayan black bear himalayan salamander jackal flying squirrel giant squirrel sperm whale indian cobra king cobra kohinoor large indian civet indian fox apart from these many other species are there but these are important species which are placed under schedule 2 then schedule number 3 and schedule 4 these species are not endangered now what type of species are placed here these are big game species and small game species game term refers to hunting the animals in forest are hunted some animals which are hunted are big in size and some are small in size according to it they are placed in schedule 3 and 4 big game means big animals which are hunted are placed under schedule 3 small game means small animals which are hunted they are placed under schedule number 4 these animals hunting is prohibited but the penalty for their hunting is very less as compared to hunting of species of schedule 1 and 2 for which one can get a punishment of 7 years if any species from schedule 1 or 2 is hunted but for schedule 3 and 4 the penalty is little less some example of these animals are cheetal which is also known as spotted deer bharal also known as blue sheep hyena nilgai sambar sponges all these are placed under schedule number 3 
these all animals are called big game because their size is larger like cheetal this deer and hyena neil guy all these are bigger as compared to animals of schedule number 4 which are smaller for example flamingo which is a bird its size is small hares falcons kingfisher these two are birds horseshoe crab indian star tortoise all these are called small game because they are smaller in size and they are hunted so they are placed under schedule 4 so that they can get protection now the species placed in schedule number 5 are called vermin vermins are those animals who can spread disease and also they can destroy crop plants for example common crow fruit bat what do they do it can destroy any agricultural crop anywhere rat mice all these animals they destroy the crops these animals are called vermins and they can be hunted they can be killed at any time now what happens is that as you know for example in schedule number 3 cheetal and bharal both are deer they are placed in schedule number 3 so they are conserved which results in increase of their population suppose this is a forest area and spotted deer is found here now it was conserved and its number got increased people also live nearby they have agricultural crop fields so if the number of spotted deer is increased they will go out of the forest and destroy the agricultural crops so what will happen now the farmers will suffer crop loss but spotted deer is placed in schedule number 3 so they cannot be hunted so what does government do for it for a specific time period only in this place where deer is harming crops government can place spotted deer in schedule number 5 so now spotted deer comes under category of vermin now these deer can be hunted but it can be done only for some time government will specify time like they can do it for 2 months so in those 2 months the excess population of the deer can be hunted so that they don't harm crops after some time deer is placed again in the previous schedule now schedule number 6 it regulates cultivation of specified plants it only regulates it doesn't restrict there are some plant species which are not allowed to be grown by everyone that regulation is done here these plants cannot be transported we cannot keep them with us we can't sell them if we want to cultivate these plants then we will have to take permission first from the specified competent authority then only we can cultivate them these six plants are placed in schedule number 6 blue vanda red vanda oot slipper orchid pitcher plant bedomis cycad now why these plants are placed here in schedule number 6 and why can't we cultivate them these are mostly medicinal plants so their medicinal value is very high and their population has severely declined because they are largely exploited because of their medicinal value so if anyone grows these plants suppose you grow these plant in your garden in nature breeding process keeps on happening suppose in this plant a pollen grain from some other similar species plant reach here and a new plant is grown out of that pollen grain this is red vanda so in breeding process its genetic character will be changed entirely so it is a possibility that it can lose its medicinal property that's why their cultivation is regulated subscribe for more informational videos you can join our affordable courses for neat net jrf and upsc registration link is given in the description box